Hi guys, I'm just thinking about this biplane I want to make to use the variable thrust uh, twin motors from that radio controlled helicopter or infrared remote controlled helicopter. Sketching a couple of ideas there and I'm looking at using styrofoam plates and these are bits of styrofoam bases from pizzas so that's the sort of stuff I'm going to work with but I'm not going to do a build video I'm just going to toy around with it till I've got something up together and then we'll see if it flies we're moving ahead a bit closer. Just been testing it for centre of gravity with the motors and the receiver in position. Still just a bit tail heavy. It's not far off actually. But I need to extend the wires now. So need some pretty thin wires. Old USB cable here that I'll strip the wires out and use them. I've extended all the wires now to put it all together. All up together, ready for a test flight. Well, we may have a problem. I've just done a power test on it. And at full power, one of the propellers came off. I've stuck it back on again, and it's staying there at the moment. So we'll give it a little test fly in the garden, just see what the glide is like. This is just a glide test see what the trim is like. Looks like it could do with a tiny bit more down elevator or a little bit more weight on the front. But I'm actually quite happy with that because it's not going to fly away too far. Because it did occur to me that when I cut the engines there's nothing to stop it catching a thermal and just flying away. So I'd rather that it came down uh, relatively quickly, at least for initial tests. So the next question is, do we dare try a powered flight in my garden?
looks promising. The only thing that worries me a bit is it doesn't stop instantly when I switch it off. It still goes for a bit. I think we're going to have to wait till we can go somewhere and fly it properly. <laughs> 